Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whenever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, the 2022 Jamhuri Day celebrations was happening at Nyayo Stadium. And of course, Nyayo Stadium has a capacity of 45,000. Therefore, President Ruto had promised Kenya that everyone who is going to attend uh, that uh, event will get a free scholarship for online training. So we expected that many Kenyans will go into that event because even the Azimio uh, La Umoja, when they cancelled their rally, they encouraged youth to go and uh, attend the New York Stadium event so that they enrolled for that uh, Arizona University online training. <laughs> so they encouraged everyone to go there. But surprisingly, despite the fact that even the Azimio leaders encouraged the youth to go and uh, attend the Jamhuri Day, still the youth did not show up in their numbers. We thought because there's a free training, maybe that place will be full to the brain, maybe 45 or even uh, 50. But that did not happen. And again, it is reported that now over 20 thousand Jamhuri Day attendees get 100,000 scholarship for online training. That means uh, only 20,000 people among those who attended, they managed to get the scholarship training for online. And this is what the president had to say if I quote him. As promised, everyone present in this stadium today will get a free scholarship on global entrepreneurship and innovation for, from the Thunderbird School of Global Management at Arizona State University. Again, I went on to say, it is now time to keep the promise. There is a QR code, a QR code near you. Scan and access the scholarship now. A 16-unit course that would have costed you 100000 is now accessible to you for free cutters of innovation Jamhuri Day. But again, people also are giving their comment here on the same. Someone is saying, we didn't poor reporting. The code lasted 30 seconds on the screen and we were not given prior indicator that there will be a code to scan so we had no scanner. Absolutely hot air. Ask the university absolutely nobody access to the course. Correct the headline. This one they were telling now citizen. So that is the kind of situation that people have gone through. The truth of the matter is that of course what Ken Akwanda will report as 20,000 youth have enrolled for this program that will be a lie because they have never said the truth. And uh, to understand that this is a lie, I want you to go and check the field after the president's speech because everyone was focusing, the media was focusing more on uh, recording what the president was saying. But they not focus on uh, showing the other side if the stadium was full. There is a reason behind that because right now media is being hunted by this government. They are looking to deal with the uh, stations that will report the negative things about what they are doing. Because if the media will paint the picture that or the stadium was not full, they record those empty areas, they were going to have a big problem. But you take your time and watch the match between Sofa Parker and AFC Leopard that was being played at that fair day. If indeed youth attended that event, I'm certain they will watch it. Why is it that when the game was going on, the whole stadium was empty? Not even 10,000 people were sitting to watch. Not even 5,000 people were sitting to watch that match. It will be less than one, uh, it will be less than maybe 2,000 people who watched or even 1,000. The stadium was literally empty. That tells you that the people who attended this event 
were specific mamas who were faded from somewhere else and of course half of it you could see they were donning in a UDA colors yellow was the color it means even despite the president promising to give the online training for free youth did not find anything to trust about president ruto they did not show up in that event we are seeing all the mamas there these mamas do not have even an android phone they don't have not all of them have even if they have they have no any interest in such training people of this age they are all interested on what their children are going to eat so their focus was on the 500 or 1000 or the 300 that people who are facilitating them to go to that event are going to pay them the rest in the hot air so for you to understand that you did not attend this event check that field check it for yourself who watched that match why no one watched the match because youth will stay back to watch the game to the end. Even if up not to the end, at least half of the game, people are going to watch. So why is everyone, uh, why, why did the people refuse to attend the Jamuri Day celebration? That's the question we are asking today. And as we continue, a quick request for those who are watching and if you want to subscribe, please consider subscribing. Turn subscribers, thank you so much, and all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Back to this discussion. The truth of the matter is that many Kenyans do not believe what President Ruto is saying. Because Ruto has been known for saying something different and doing something totally different from what has said. So, lack of trust. If they trust, they could have attended this event. There are many people who have interest in doing the courses, but they lacked trust in William Ruto. Number two, even if they attended, the question is, how do they manage to do the online training if Ruto promised to give free internet, but he is yet to give this internet? You cannot do an online training if you don't have internet. You need a strong internet because to some extent, you will be trained through videos. As a man who has worked in hospitality industry, I know there are several courses I've done. You do it online and you will have several videos you will be watching and at the end of the day, they'll be giving you specific minutes to answer specific questions. Now even when I find online, so even matter of maybe cheating on that exam will not be there. So you need to be attentive because after the video, there will be questions. Then you will be, there will be areas where you will be reading and then you have specific time to answer those questions so you need a strong internet to watch those video carefully before you go to the questions so people don't have even access to internet and they don't have even money to have one that is another problem there so this is the reason why people found no reason to go even for such a thing number three people are hungry they need a president who can deal with the real situation. Arrest the problem on the ground. The problem is hunger. People need food. They are hungry. Ruto did not solve the issue to do with the high cost of living in this country. Every item, the price is high. So people are not are just tired with the William Samway Ruto. And uh, another thing is that Ruto has made the Jamuri Day to look like a UDA function. Because of this, most of the Azmio supporters not found any interest to join something that has been largely branded as Mio. I'm saying this because I know three quarters of Kenyans living in Nairobi have been supporting Raila Molo Dinga. Ruto does not command numbers in Nairobi. And that can be explained on how people were voted, members of parliament there. Because if you check, if you talk about Sakaja, I can tell you Sakaja was voted because people were angry with the decision to bring Polycap Igade. And again, Luyas felt that they are being played. And even most of the ODM supporters were angry when Tim Wanyonyi was played. So they opted for Sakaja, and Sakaja has been there. So Nairobi is largely as Mio. So for you, 
to manage pool numbers in Nairobi, definitely, you don't need to brand the issue to look like it was the UDA thing. With that, Azimia will disassociate themselves with that. So because of this, I think it, I think it is one of the reasons why Ruto has lacked to attract numbers within Nairobi. So let the Kenya Kwanza think very careful. And at the time, are they ready to fulfill what they have promised? They said the cost of living is going to be affordable in 100 days. 100 days are over. When they say Matua Keka Bebilia Chini cartels will be in jail, instead we have seen cartels being released, men have been pardoned, many cases have been, have been dropped. So how is he going to solve all that issue here? So many things we can say about this government that has made everyone now to stay away from them. And that now leads us to the question of legitimacy. Even up to now, Ruto is suffering from the issue of legitimacy. Many people have not yet accepted him as a president. Rejection is still there. They believe that Raila won the election, but he was robbed through the US, through the Kamalgos of this world, through the IBC well, chairman of Fletcher Bukati. Because of that, up to now, people are yet to accept William Samuel Ruto as the president. So he has a lot to do to appeal to these people so that they can accept him as their president. I don't know your view, but this is my thinking. The main reason why Kenyans did not show up at Nyayo Stadium to attend the uh, Jamhuri Day celebration. Thank you and see you in our next video. But again, let us meet in the comment section for continuation of this conversation.